Hi everyone, happy October. It's Miss Ariana coming to you from the Clifton Park Half Moon Library. And I'm going to do two Halloween themed crafts with you today that you could do using items that you have already in your home. We're gonna be doing a cute skeleton and a super cute fuzzy cotton ball ghost. So for the ghost, we're gonna need a bunch of cotton balls, white paper, and black paper. And for the skeleton, we're going to need 20 Q-tips. Six of them are gonna be cut in half, so you might need your older person to help you with that. And you'll also need black paper and white paper. So let's get started. So the first step to making our friendly skeleton is using a white piece of paper, cut out a shape, kind of like a pear shape. And then for this project, um, you could use a glue stick or Elmer's glue, whatever you have handy. So glue the skeleton head on. Then using black paper, just cut out some eyes. Or if you have googly eyes at home, you could use those to make it a little different. If you want to add some teeth to make like a smiling skeleton, like in our sample, you could go ahead and do that. I just used a little couple pieces of white paper for that. Now this is the fun part, putting together the bones. The easiest way to do this that I found was to put the glue just on the Q-tip that's going to be touching the paper. You don't need to worry about the middle part. So you're going to do five chest bones or ribs, I guess they would be. Get those down and just press and they'll stay. Then we want to do our spine. Again, put glue on the sides, on the cotton parts, and smush down. Then we're going to do our arms. Now you can make them go any way you want. You can make a dancing skeleton. So we got two full Q-tips for the arms. Oop, I almost connected it the wrong way. Then we're gonna do our legs with our complete. I'm gonna make him a goofy skeleton, I think. Maybe he's running, maybe he's trick-or-treating. So now that we're done with our 14 uncut Q-tips, we're gonna have someone help us cut six Q-tips in half, so we have 12. And we're gonna do five fingers on one hand, You guys could practice your counting with this too. One, two, three, oops, keep pressing them down. That looks like a pinky. Four and five. And there you go. Dancing skeleton, hang it in your window. So for our puffy ghost, which is a lot of fun to squish, let me tell you, um, you'll take some black paper, cut out eyes, whatever shape you want. I went with the traditional oval shape and a smiley face and put those to the side. Then there's no wrong way to do this, no right way to do this. You draw a ghost shape just like this. Or maybe you want to draw a ghost shape like this. Whatever way you want your ghost to look, that's what you're going to do. And you can make different shapes and different ones. I'm going to go with this one right now because it's the easiest to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. Take your glue stick or your Elmer's glue, whichever one, both will work, 
and put glue all over your ghost. And you might have to add more if it starts to dry. This is the fun part. Take your cotton balls and just start putting them on. They don't have to be straight. They don't have to be in any certain way. They just should cover your ghost. Next thing you do, just put a little glue right on your smile and you squish it on. Whoop. Do the same thing for your eyeballs. Again, if you have googly eyes and you want to use those, great. If you want to make blue eyes, great. And there you go. Puffy ghost.